So let's start. Good morning, everyone, and very warm welcome to all the guests and fellow Toastmasters. Uh, I see start mm -hmm. with the end in mind in everyone's background. I hope you guys are not thinking about the end of the meeting already. Well, we'll change your minds. So this meeting will be of two hours. Before that, I want to highlight some key points. Your video should be on and your audio should be off. Audio should only be on when you are called to speak or need to speak. Regarding the topics of sex, religion, and politics, even though Toastmaster International does not put any restrictions on speaking on these topics, at the <coughs> Gabby's Toastmaster Club, however, we request all the speakers and role takers to be mindful and responsible and abstain from expressing any controversial views on these sensitive topics. Also urge you to be cognizant to the fact that we as a club practice diversity and inclusion in letter and in spirit. Hence, ensure there are no sexist, racist, or any such undertones which create hostility and discomfort for members and guests. Let me call upon the presiding officer for the meeting, Toastmaster Nagesh Ramamurthy. Before that, let me introduce him. He is a teacher, trainer, and a coach in the domain of construction. He has trained over 7,500 professionals in the last decade. With his coaching, he has impacted over 500 professional lives. In addition, with his experience of over three decades, he's a consultant who checks the health of occupied buildings. Over to you, presiding officer, Toastmaster Nagesh Ramamurthy. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster Chantanya. Please give another round of applause for our Sergeant at Arms today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, uh, I want to take you a little back to a time about 20 months ago. I attended a panel discussion session at Toastmasters then. It was an online meeting. A young, energetic, and a fantabulous speaker wanted to do a panel discussion and she moderated it just like Barkhadat at NDTV. Sanjana had invited me to be part of the panel and she had themed it, Opportunities Begets Leadership. My first Toastmaster meeting was uh, full of icebreakers. It was a marathon meeting by one of the Toastmasters club where I had attended it as a guest. Since it was my first meeting as a guest, any Toastmaster meeting, I was actually off stuck with uh, what was happening there. Six speakers came on the stage, gave their icebreaker. I didn't know what icebreaker was all about, but they spoke about themselves. That marathon made me think that next day, I have to pay my fees and become a member. But the important matter in that icebreaker meeting was, the table topics. No one, no one except one guest was on the camera. And as luck would had it, the guest was picked up for the table topic. The guest being guest, not much aware about the meeting format. You know, she spoke for 15 seconds and handed over the stage back to table topic master. I was wondering if I was that speaker, what would I speak for 15 seconds? I would say, uh, thank you. My name is Nagesh Ramamurthy. I'm attending this meeting for the first time. Uh, happy to be at Toastmaster. I come from construction industry. Again, probably saying that I'm happy to be here. That's all. What was that speaker spoke for 15 seconds? Knowing that that person was from construction industry, I chatted, saying that I'm also from construction. Can we connect offline after this meeting? Pat came the number on the chat and the next day I connected. When I connected, I realized that guests had already paid the fees for the club. I immediately asked, why Toastmasters? Sanjana had said, I wanted to do a panel discussion like the way Barkhadat did, or she does. One day I wanted to do that. 
I was, I had no words to say. I was awestruck. This girl from 15 seconds wants to go for 25 minutes. I don't know how long she will take. How long will that leap be? But hearing her confidence, looking at her confidence, I paid my fees after the call. And I became a Toastmasters member. Toastmasters, that panel discussion that she conducted, I could see Sanjana full of confidence. I could see she her growth, her gains in the Toastmasters in that eight, nine months. She had practiced so much in Toastmasters that panel discussion is still clear in my mind. She had a goal. She knew her destination and she knew where to start from. So Toastmasters, start with the end or the goal in mind. The journey will be fantastic. The path will open for you automatically. It is said, when somebody is ready to learn, the guru arrives. So when you have goal in mind, path will be shown to you. With that, let me now give the stage to somebody who is very similar to me. Somebody who has got a full-time day job and is a coach and an advisor. So the, the person who is going to take this meeting forward is Toastmaster Jyoti Mandal, who is uh, working at Coastify Intelligence Analytics from past about six years. Very passionately, she is a health coach and advises on people on nutrition. She supports, strengthens, and serves people in weight management and lifestyle issue reversals. Put your hands together for the TMOD of today, Toastmaster Jyoti Mandal. Over to you. Thank you for the lovely introduction, uh, uh, DTM Nagesh, sir. Good morning, Toastmasters. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. And how are you all feeling today? How's the Josh? That's great. Okay. So today's theme, what, uh, sorry, start with the end in mind. So there's a lovely quote said by Oliver, what lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. How many of you agree? What lies within us matters the most? Yes, Radhika, yes. So uh, to begin with the end in mind means to start with the clear understanding of your destination. It means to know where you are going so that you better understand where you are now and take the steps in the right direction. So I will tell you a story uh, of how uh, my journey started in this Toastmaster. Um, I started my journey of my goal with the end in mind. First of all, I'm so, so, so honored to be a part of such talented, fun, and motivated team Gabby's that is dedicated to make, making an impact in each individual here especially me. I'm so grateful for DTM Saurav um, because he has created an impact in my life. So because of him, I'm here today. So it so happened that um, I joined Toastmasters in uh, October 2020 and uh, uh, it's been two and a half years and I didn't, I didn't finish a pathway yet. My last speech was in uh, 2022 October almost seven to eight months, I didn't deliver any speech. So uh, what happened is uh, uh, a few days ago in my club, we wanted a table topic master. And luckily, sort of said yes in a VP education group. And uh, when he attended the meeting in my club, he spilled some kind of magic uh, in the meeting. So what magic is that? I was amazed to see that how he can make a newbie to talk about two minutes in table topic who, who couldn't even speak for 15 seconds. I was amazed to see that. And then uh, just after the meeting, I, I reached out to him 
uh, saying, uh, I imagine that what if I take mentorship from him? So uh, he agreed to that and the game changed. As I said, I didn't, uh, I, I didn't deliver any speeches for seven to eight months. So sort of invested his time in me. And I thought that it, it should be worth investing his time in me. So just one month ago, you all know that uh, contest happened, club level, area level, division, and, the, and then district level, right? So uh, uh, just two days uh, I prepared for the club contest. I, I won the club contest. I got uh, uh, the I got first runner up in area contest in both speech and table topics, which happened a month ago, and uh, I reached till division level. So it was very difficult for me to perform on stage who didn't deliver a speech for eight, seven to eight months. And this happened only because of Saurav. So I had a goal in my mind uh, that I want to be, I told Saurav that I want to become a public speaker, good public speaker and want to perform on TEDx stage. But then slowly the dream faded away. Uh, and then just a month ago because Saurav helped me. So when I had a goal in my mind, I start. I, I thought, ki, okay, I uh, visualized myself on the stage, I'm performing, and that is how I reached till division. It's a big achievement for me. So that is how to begin with the end in mind means to start with the clear understanding of your destination. So the moment I started with the end in mind with a strong goal, things changed. Um, I'll come back and talk about uh, more about this uh, theme. So before that, uh, I would like to start the meeting. Uh, so this Toastmaster meeting is divided into four sections. The first section is uh, prepared speeches. Second is evaluation. Third is uh, uh, table topic section. And fourth is general evaluation section. So the we'll we'll start with the uh, sorry I'll I would like to call the general evaluator. I would like to call the general evaluator first. Yeah. Uh, so our general evaluator is uh, he is an electronics engineer by profession at Intel and a Toastmaster by pa passion. Rajesh has been a part of Intel Toastmasters for the last four years and is currently exploring storytelling through Toastmasters. In his free time, he would be sipping a cup of filtered coffee and watching old episodes of Top Gear. Over to you, TM Rajesh Satyavada. Thank you, Toastmaster today, Toastmaster Jyoti. Hello, all. A very, very good morning or good day, wherever you are, whichever part of the world you come from. As Jyoti mentioned, I'll be the general evaluator. Imagine a general, but just without a gun, rather with a pen and a notebook with me. I'll be observing the entire meeting right from the top of the room, imaginary room, like a bird pouncing on a prey. But here I'm not trying to pounce on a prey or anything. The objective of my role is to observe the meeting right from the beginning until the end, make observations where I feel I've learned something or I feel this is something the audience needs to learn from the particular role player, speaker, or whoever is taking up the screen space. Make notes of it. And if I find any observations where I feel someone has to work upon or an opportunity for that person, I'll make that notes again. And at the end of the meeting, I will bring up my report, share it across with the meeting in general. But hey, I'm not alone. To do this mammoth task, I've been assisted by four pillars who would be making sure that the evaluation or the entire meeting goes absolutely fine. Now, to do the honors, let us begin with someone who's very critical for making sure the entire meeting runs on time, the timer for today's meeting. It's Toastmaster Govardhan Pini, who's based out of Hyderabad, very similar to my hometown, working for Barclays. And aside from work, he does freelancing in consulting, writing, and manages portfolios in financial markets. So he's the money guy. He's also a sustainability enthusiast, and he's got plethora of games that he pursues as hobbies. And when, when it comes to TV shows, he's particularly interested in Southeast Asian and English shows in particular. So with a thorough round of applause, please invite our time for today's meeting, Toastmaster Govardhan. Thank you, Toastmaster Rajesh. So today I'll be taking over the timer's role. The timer is responsible for monitoring time for each speaker as such. And today there are two segments of speeches. One is prepared speeches and then table topics. 
so for prepared speeches today we have all the three speakers uh, whose time whose time limit ranges from 5 minutes to 7 minutes where 5 minutes is the qualifying time 6 minutes and 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 the window between 5 to 7 minutes is basically the in time and 7 minutes is the maximum time that can be allotted to each prepared speaker and then we have the evaluators whose time limit runs from 2 minutes to 3 minutes and so on with the table topic speeches where the time limit starts from 1 to 1 minute to 2 uh, minutes in maximum and at every qualifying minute i will be showing the green card followed by the yellow card which is on time and followed by the red card when it is off the time so that's about it for my role and at the end of the meeting i'll share the report with toastmaster rajesh over to you toastmaster thank you toastmaster govardhan moving on to our second pillar he is the our counter for today's meeting toastmaster devashish parmar devashish parmar according to him is an alumni from bhavanipur college calcutta professionally a chartered accountant yet another money guy by profession and is currently working at ernst and young his love for bengali food is deeply rooted in his upbringing and he spent most of his holidays at his grandmother's place and he's, he says that he's blessed to have a family and a place to call home however during his free time he cooks and experiments with different recipes and adds plenty of flavors to it i'm looking forward to have some time to eat or try toastmaster devish's cooked food so with a round of applause again our counter for today's meeting toastmaster devish thank you rajesh for this lovely introduction good morning fellow toastmasters and guests the purpose of our counter is to note words and sound which are used as fillers by anyone who speaks during the meeting during this meeting i will listen for filler sounds like a uh, mm, i'll also listen for overused words like and but so you know i'll also note speakers who use repeat words like and and you know you know this means this means so at the end of the meeting i'll present my report stating number of times these expressions used by each of the speakers so it is also important as a our counter i mean which helps in your listening skills i mean as which basically will help me in listening skills apart from uh taking count of these uh expressions again used used by the uh, speakers so over to you general evaluator rajesh thank you toastmaster devashish an important point folks as each of our role players are taking up screen space today they are also trying to test their listening skills an important skill that we all try to learn now moving on to the third player pillar the most dreaded especially for me as a kid as i wasn't great with my language spoken language neither written language so put your hands together for toastmaster pranav who's working with target as a lead engineer with 10 years of experience in it he enjoys long drives exploring new places and loves to trek toastmaster pranav our grammarian for today's meeting yeah thank you thank you toastmaster rajesh so now here i will be performing the role of grammarian i will be looking for correct uh, uh, correct and good usages of language good phrases good catch words good vocabulary words and i will be noting them down and in addition to that i will also be making good recommendations on how we can use the the phrases or words better and in addition to that i am today giving you the word of the day something which is closely connected to the team something called tenacity so how many of you know what is the meaning of the word tenacity yeah okay it is something similar to perseverance okay so the meaning of the word of the day is tenacity and it is the the meaning of the word is that the determination to continue what you are doing irrespective of the challenges okay so the for example i will be giving you a sentence in which the word is used your your tenacity and sheer will of winning is what helps you in achieving your goal so i hope that all of you will be able to use this in one of your sentences so over to you 
Toastmaster uh, Rajesh. Thank you, Toastmaster Pranav. The word of the day reminds me of a band called as Tenacious D from a movie pretty old, but again, I'll try my best to use the word of the day and I encourage all of you to use the word of the day. Now going to the last pillar, an interesting one, we'll make sure that we are all tested for our listening skills. Toastmaster Jitendra, who's our listener for today's meeting, who's a travel enthusiast and interested in different cultures and values, is a proficient horse rider and believes in a circle of influence, always focusing on things which he can control. He's passionate about running, and he says that it's like meditation for him. So put your hands together for our listener for today's meeting, Toastmaster Jitendra. Thank you, Rajesh. Thanks for the wonderful introduction. So as you are aware that speaking is silver, then definitely listening is gold. As someone has rightly said, we have to listen thrice, think twice, and speak once. So today, my role as a listener, I'll be noting down the interesting information from any of the speakers and ask questions near the end of the meeting, just to check whether we are listening or we are hearing the information. So thank you, Rajesh, over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Jindram. I listen thrice, think, twi think twice, and try to speak once. So folks, along with the four pillars, I'm also working on my listening skills. And my objectives for today's meeting are to observe one aspect of the role player where I feel we all can learn from the audience. That's number one. And one opportunity for the role player. And together, I call it one plus one. So at the end of the meeting, I, along with my team, would present my report and offer a one plus one report in general for each and every role player who's taken up the screen space. All right, my time is up. And I hand to the stage back to our Toastmaster there, Toastmaster Jyoti. Thank you, General Evaluator Rajesh. So now we'll move on with the prepared speech, the first section. So uh, I'll call the first uh, speaker. Before I call the speaker, I would like to call the evaluator. Our evaluator one is uh, Sri Lakshmi Hegde. She is a certified image consultant and soft skills trainer by profession. Her interest in public speaking and leadership skills made her join Toastmasters. She is double, triple crown winner and double path breaker. She is the founder of Imaginetic Image Consulting Services. Uh, Sri Lakshmi, could you please read the objectives of speaker one? Thank you, Jyoti, for a lovely introduction. My target speaker, Toshmashar Padukka, is attempting her uh, L2 Q1 speech, understanding your leadership style. Her path is visionary communication. Her speech title is leader with no title. I will explain you on the purpose of this project. The purpose of this project is for member to identify his or her primary leadership, leadership styles. The purpose of this speech of the member share some aspect his or her primary leadership style or discuss leadership style in general. Over to you, uh, Jyoti. Thank you, TM Sri Lakshmi. Uh, our speaker one is a Toastmasters for more than three years completed path in innovative planning and volunteered for multiple events. TM Paduka was the past president of TCS Maitri Bangalore, which achieved distinguished status and won multiple awards during her tenure. I'm so excited to listen to all the speakers. So speaker one, uh, Paduka Kanan, leader with no title, Paduka Kanan. Uh, thank you so much, Tiamodi. But before starting ahead, I can, I'm not able to see the timer. I mean, uh, the, yeah, now I can see the time. All right. All right. So you often feel tired, not because you have done too much, but you have done too little of what sparks in you. Rise and shine, Gabby's. I'm quite excited today to hop on to my next level. That is level two of my part today. And my objective is to talk about my style of leadership. But before going to my style of leadership, let's make one thing very clear about the definition of leadership. The simple definition says a leader is someone who has followers. Let's not confuse with our Instagram followers or the Twitter followers over here. And it is definitely not the power that you have to make someone forcefully to do something as well. So over here, the leader is someone where the leader takes up the leader's vision or leader's path as their own path and take up the next right step. 
And today, I'm going to talk about a bit of an unconventional style of leadership. If you are an MBA student, do not write about this in your exam because you're never going to pass. And let's make it a little bit more interactive, okay? Is Sachin Tendulkar a leader? Yeah? Yes. Nice. Yes. Is Mahatma Gandhi a leader? Yes. Right. Is Hitler a leader? Right. He's also definitely a leader. But just one thing is he didn't think about the greater good. So I remember when our ex-president, Abdul Kalam, passed away, lakhs and lakhs of people came to Rameshwaram for his funeral. During that time, he was, he was not a leader. Of course, he, has an, he was an ex-president. <laughs> but he was not in any party or anything. So today, I'm going to talk about such kind of leadership, a leader with no title. <clears throat> the most common thing that people do is they think they don't have any power by giving up their power. But this concept is all about infusing leadership in whatever you do, everything you touch. Basically, expressing yourself, your truest, highest form of expression of yourself as a human being. This, there's nothing to do with the blame game over here. Like you cannot blame your job, you cannot blame your family, you cannot blame your circumstances, and you cannot blame your manufacturer as well. God, basically. <laughs> the turbulent times brings incredible opportunities. No, no, I'm not going to be that Mahatma to say all those things. We do have bad times. It is okay to cry, mourn, eat, eat that one ice cream tub, but raise again and start working on the next right thing tenaciously. <laughs> do you believe? Do you believe that every one of us alive in this moment has the power to go out there and give out our absolute best self over there? You don't need a title to do that. Do you believe, do you believe that every one of us in this room has the power to inspire, influence, and to elevate each and every person you meet by portraying yourself out there courageously, authentically and ethically. You don't need a title to do that. All we need to give out is our absolute best work out there. Let me conclude by quoting Martin Luther's King. I'm not very good with English memorative, so I'm just more or less, it's going to be a summarizing over here. If a man is called a street sweeper, he should sweep the street as a Michelangelo painted, as a Beethoven music, or as a Shakespeare poetry. He should sweep such a way that all the hosts on the heaven and the earth will come and pause and say, here lived a great sweeper who did his job well. Thank you very much. Thank you, Padika, TM Padika Kanan. That was a wonderful speech. Uh, now I would like to call the speaker to, uh, sorry, before calling the speaker, I would like to call the evaluator to. Uh, evaluator Aparna, uh, she is a passionate speaker, hippie at heart, mom at home, and an entrepreneur by choice. She is a district champion of table topics, and uh, I love, she inspires me a lot. Over to you, uh, Aparna. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Jyoti, and you inspire me as well. Okay, to start off with, my target speaker today is attempting his level two path one in the path persuasive influence. The project is understanding your leadership style. Timer, please note, this is a five to seven minute speech. The purpose of this project is for the member to identify his primary leadership style or styles and also for the member to share some aspects of his primary leadership style or discuss the leadership styles in general. 
With that, I wish my target speaker all the very best and back to you, Toastmaster Jyoti. Thank you, DTM Aparna. Uh, now I would like to call the speaker to Nagesh Ramurthy. Uh, he is a teacher, trainer, and a coach in the domain of construction. He has trained over 7,500 plus professionals in the last decade. With his coaching, he has impacted over 500 plus professional lives. In addition, with his experience of over three decades, he is a consultant who checks the health of occupied buildings. Uh, um, speech title, Marker, Nagesh Murthy. Na marker. Thank you. Give me an audio check. I hope I'm audible. Yeah, you are audible. Visual. Take a moment to think about a leader that you all admire. They could be your teacher, a celebrity, or an elected official. Maybe somebody in your neighborhood, within your family, or in this club. Now ask yourself, why do you admire them? What is in it there in, the, in them that inspires you? I'm sure you must be thinking of their skills about being a visionary, somebody who's a motivator, somebody who's a goal setter, somebody who is a very good decision maker, maybe somebody who is accountable or just that one person who is an effective networker. Leaders are those who have mastered few specific leadership qualities. Toastmasters and guests, as the world moved ahead, research on HR evolved. Many styles of leadership have emerged. Authoritative, coaching, affiliative, democratic, pace-setting, commanding are some few common leadership styles or markers, what I call, that have yielded great results across the globe. Let's see a few of them. Firstly, you should all know this. My first leadership lesson was from somebody whom I idolized. My role model was my grandfather. He was very strict, very clear in his thought, and he was very, very creative. In my family, for my daughter and many of my younger cousins, I was not their favorite because I was very stern. Now, after growing up, in casual conversations, they have mentioned how I have set expectations for them, cleared some fog, and explained them why I think what I am thinking. That was authoritative style that has helped achieve a lot of common goals for people most of the time. In around 2000, no, 1993 it was, when I was uh, a, pro a small time engineer, my project manager left the organization without serving any notice. As the next officer in the rank in the project, I stepped up to take the charge. But another project manager came in, he was appointed and I had to give the charge back to him. A few months later, even that person left. And it so happened that I had to step up again and take charge. Another person was appointed a few months later. I gave the charge and stepped down to take my duties forward. But that person also left. This repeated five times in the project. And five times I had the chance to be at the head of the table as an acting project manager. I was an accidental project manager but a leader in making. I was fortunate to have got that position in small portions. I learned to lead. And the best part was, I never complained. I led the team for most of the project duration because of situations that were not in my control. But those days, I was much younger, energetic, 
the situation demanded, and I seized that opportunity to take control. My behaviors, actions, and responses were very autocratic. Younger self, hence it was uh, autocratic because I was a leader in making. If I take and look at fast forwarding myself to 2008, uh, one of the project was very much in turbulence. The consulting organization where I worked was about to lose the account. And my MD said that he's very concerned in one of the review meetings. So many people hesitated to raise their hand uh, because they had to face an army colonel on the other side at the client who was handling the situation and was making things very difficult for the team because of his demands and expectations. Looking at the opportunity, I stepped forward, raised my hand and volunteered to lead the team. Quickly, I realized that Colonel was right. Our team was underperforming. For me, it was an uphill task to hold the account very tight. But while breaking our goals was to work in smaller modules, I spoke to a lot of my team members and make small little changes which could bring wins quickly. I assigned smaller goals to my team member, monitored it on a daily basis, I would say, so that we get out of the trenches very quickly in few months. Three years. Yes, three years from that day when I raised my hand, we were all ecstatic because we were, uh, the hotel was getting inaugurated. It was a benchmark for us. It was a win for all of us. The pace setting approach that I experimented had given wonderful results. I felt that it was best suited for that situation. So I, I applied pace setting over there. Few months from there, a large PMO, so many SMEs with us. We Everybody was skillful in their own de de domains, like a football team. Everybody had specific roles to play on the field. I thought revolving, uh, the client's expectations were very high. Uh, they wanted enhanced uh, deliverables. They didn't want to disrupt the status quo. All that I could do at that point of time in that team was I coached them one by one. We co I coached them to make delivery little enhanced so that it was fulfilling for the clients. In my professional journey, crisis-like situations have also been common. Professional measurements are generally heightened as I grew up in my career. So sometimes you, I have had a situation where I had to be using my coercive style also to bring some quick changes for the better of the company team and the organization. Dear Toastmasters, leadership style that I spoke about are not like personality. They are not like personality. They can be intentionally altered. Not just charity that begins at home, leadership also begins at home. Today, if my kids, uh, my kid and cousins who have all grown up call me authoritative, Growing up, they have understood that it has molded them into responsible human beings. Understanding, choosing, integrating, blending styles will allow all of us to become powerful enough to be heard and attractive enough to be followed. So Toastmasters, keep learning, keep applying, and keep leading. Back to you, Timon. Rightly said, leadership starts at home. You are a tenacious leader, uh, DTM Nagis, sir. Wonderful speech. Now I would like to call the third uh, speaker, a uh, third evaluator. A uh, third evaluator is uh, TM Lakshmi Sujata. She is a soft skills trader who enjoys public speaking, acting, and the stage is her comfort zone. When the going gets tough, the tough gets going is her go-to mantra. A travel enthusiast, soft skills trainer by profession, an artist by heart, and a preed educator by choice. Uh, over to you, Sujata. Thank you so much, Toastmaster of the Day, Toastmaster Jyoti. And thanks for this wonderful theme that you have come up with 
come up today. Start with the end in mind. Much needed for a lot of us here. So with this, let me talk about my target speaker today and the speech purpose. She is attempting her L3 project in presentation mastery. And the name of the project is Persuasive Speech. The purpose of this project is for the member to understand the types of persuasive speeches and deliver a persuasive speech at a club meeting. I would like a timer kindly note, the speech duration is five to seven minutes. I would love to wish the target speaker all the very best as she goes ahead and persuades us, persuades us to do something. Over to you, Timod. Thank you, TM Sujata. Our third speaker is Preeti Jain. Uh, TM Preeti Jain, as the name suggests, uh, she is full of love for the life. Her blood group is A positive, which inspires her to be always positive. Strongly believes in divine guidance and presence. She is on a journey of making a difference in the lives of fellow humans. Using her NLP skills, she is a life, life coach, corporate trainer, and a certified laughter leader. This life is given to me, given to her to evolve every moment. She is in the process of becoming the best version of herself because it's her life. TM Preeti Jain, speech title, Break the Silence. TM Preeti Jain, over to you. Thank you very much, Toastmasters of the day. Uh, just a quick audio video check. Am I clearly visible and audible? Yeah, Preeti, you are. Okay, one sec. How I'm feeling spotlighted, I want to do it uh, on the phone. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. So today, let's delve into a topic that affects each and every one of us, mental health. But before we embark on this adventure, let's bring a little bit of fun and interactivity to the table. Imagine for a moment that we are all explorers venturing into the uncharted territory of the mind and will navigate through the twists and turns of this subject, shedding light on its importance and unraveling its quirks along the way. So put on your imaginary explorer hats, fasten your seat belts, and let's dive in. Now, I would like to engage you in a quick activity. Are you all ready? Yes, good, thank you very much. Raise your hand if you have ever experienced stress in your life. And I'm willing to bet that almost every hand in this room is raised, whether visible or invisible. Stress is like that relentless, mischievous creature that loves to sneak up on us when we least expect it. But here is the thing, we are all in this together. Stress doesn't discriminate and it certainly doesn't care about our job title or our social status. As we continue our exploration, let's challenge the common misconceptions surrounding mental health. And I'm going to throw out a statement and I want you to respond with a show of hands if you agree or you disagree. Ready? Here we go. Mental health struggles are a sign of weakness. Agree or disagree? Now take a moment and look around. What do you see? A sea of hands disagreeing with the statement, bravo. Mental health struggles are not a sign of weakness. They are a reflection of our humanity. Just as we seek medical help when our bodies are unwell, it's equally important to seek assistance when our minds need support. And by normalizing this idea, we break down the barriers that prevent individuals from reaching out and asking for help. And let's keep the engagement going. Let's use the chat box now. 
And I want you to share one self-care practice that you find helpful in maintaining your mental well-being. Take a few moments to introspect and exchange ideas. It can be anything from meditation to travel, to walk, to talk to a friend, to read a book, or to hit the gym. I'm giving you 15 seconds for this. Walk, yoga, meditation, run, workout. Very good. For me, music, meditation, walk, journaling, talking to my best friend, everything brings me closer to myself and make me feel grounded and rooted. Isn't it fascinating so, to see the multitude of strategies and techniques that people use to nurture their mental health? From meditation to exercise to creative outlets and spending time in nature, there are endless possibilities. And by sharing our experiences, we not only learn from one another, but also discover new ways to cultivate our own well being. Now, Let's take a moment to reflect and let us do something different today. I request all of you to close your eyes for a moment and take a deep breath. And just think about someone in your life who may be going through a challenging time. It could be a friend, a family member, or even a colleague. Picture their face and send them lots of positive energy and support. See them getting healed. See them receiving your energy. And when you are able to cover them with lots of love, healing, support, with a big broad smile on your face, just open your eyes. You have just sent a powerful message of empathy and care to someone who may truly need it. And by engaging in activities like these, we strengthen our connections, break down the walls of silence and create a compassionate environment where individuals feel safe and share their struggles and seek support. When I was dealing with my grief, going through the rock bottom of my life, not able to ask for help, even if I was aware that I was deeply in need of help. Such messages and energies of empathy and care from friends healed me and gave me courage to bounce back. And one of such friends is here. A big thank you to Toastmaster Vijaya. Let's remember the importance of embracing mental health, challenging stigmas and fostering supportive communities. By doing so, we create a world where mental well-being is valued, celebrated, and prioritized. My dear explorers, remove your explorer hat and come to the real life. Raise your hands if you are with me in this journey of mental health and break the silence. I am grateful. Together, Let's champion mental health. We just need one conversation and one supportive gesture at a time. Thank you very much. Over to you, Toastmaster Secretary. Thank you, TM Preeti Jain. I enjoyed your speech. It was interesting, interactive with that small activity, how we are passing our positive energy to others. Now we are done with the first section. We are prepared speeches. And now let's move to the second section, evaluation round. So uh, now I would like to call the first evaluator to evaluate the first speaker's speech. TM Sri Lakshmi Hikte. Uh, sorry to interrupt, uh, Toastmaster of the Day Jyoti, but we will go on with uh, the table topics first and then the evaluations. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's move yeah. with the second. Also... Toastmaster of the day, you have to launch the polls for the speakers. Okay. Uh, I will request Zoom Master to please launch the poll for the speakers. Okay. Anyone out? Uh, any, 
are everyone in time? Timer? Were, were all the prepared speakers within uh, the time? Should, should I be sharing the report in the end? At once? Or? No, no. Yes, you have to share the report at the end. Just let us know if everyone's within time. Uh, no, I mean, uh, so TM Nagesh, Ramamurthy and TM Preeti Jain qualified like over five minutes. Uh, TM Padika Kannan was short by 15 seconds. The qualified. That's okay. We have 30 seconds of grace period. So she's within time as well. Okay. TM Uti, they've all qualified. Thank you. Uh, Zoom Master, could you please launch the poll? Sure, I'm going to do that. Yeah, I have launched the poll. Uh, Toastmaster Amit, you haven't changed um, Toastmaster Nagesh's name here. It's still Toastmaster Mamta to us. Okay. Uh, so you just uh, move forward. I, I will quickly do it in uh, 30 seconds and then I can launch the poll. Modi, you can move ahead. The poll will be launched soon. Can I uh, go with the second section, TTM, uh, table topics? Yes. Thank you. So let's move uh, with the second uh, section, table topics. So our table topic master is um, TM Karthik Venugopal. Karthik, he works as a software engineer in Bangalore who always strives to be the best version of himself. He is a fitness freak, crazy about movies and love music. Over to you, table topic master. Thank you, Toastmaster of the Day, Toastmaster Jyoti. Welcome you all to the table topic session. All unprepared speakers would get a chance to speak now. Before starting the session, let me take you through the ground rules. You will get to speak for one to two minutes. At one minute, a green card, card will be raised. At one and a half minute, yellow card. And at two minutes, red card. So please try to use word of the day as well. So today's table topic theme will be a situational based table topic session wherein I will give a situation and the speaker must analyze the situation and decide and speak on that. So the theme name is, what would you do? Are you ready Toastmasters for this situational based table topic session? Please raise hands. Okay, so who wants to be the first table topic speaker? I need a volunteer. Okay, so I see uh, Pragya. I will give this topic to you. So here is a topic for you. Imagine if a time traveler told you that you will become a big popular celebrity and a billionaire in year 2045. But if you stop consuming salt, sugar and social media from now, what would you do? Just if your answer. Salt, sugar and social media. Thank you for making me Belenia the time traveler. And I would be very happy to do that because I don't have any social media IDs. So for me, the one thing I can quit easily was social media IDs I don't have. And I have a good reason to tell because when I don't have a social media ID, whenever my friends come in and say, because I want to be the Belenia and quitting sugar, that I need to think on. But there are products, uh, I guess that could be also easy because these days people are too fitness free. So even if I don't want to reveal the secret, I can say them and inspire people that I am quitting sugar to move to the fitness and all those things in my life. So that would be great for me, I guess. And I got a good reason to be billionaire and famous personality in that year, but I'm not sure whether... I will be alive at that time or not. So I have to work on sugar and other things as well to be like, I think to be alive at that moment. And I guess this two points which you have given me, quit sugar and quit social media can help me out in living a happy life till that period and enjoy my publicity and all those things. Over to you, Toastmaster, Table Topic Master. Thank you, Pragya. I hope uh, that happens for sure. And all the best for quitting the salt, sugar, and social media. Thank you. Thank you, Pragya. Okay. So, Diana, I'll give you this topic uh, to you in the chat. So, you can write down your speech in the chat, and I will read out your speech at the end, at the end of the table topics. Okay. 
I'll I'll put this uh, topic on the chat to you. So you can write down your speech, Diana. Okay. Let's move on to the next table topic speaker. Who wants to be the next one? Okay. I see Chaitanya raising the hand. So I will give this topic to you. So Chaitanya, imagine if two aliens promised you to take on a on on a tour around the whole universe. Two aliens promised you to take on a, a tour on whole universe, but you could never come back again to Earth. Would you go with aliens and say goodbye to Earth? Why? Why not? What would you do? And why would I not? I would rather go with the aliens to explore the universe. I believe there are a lot many uh, duplicate Earths present in the universe. That is there a possibility. Maybe the people are different. Maybe their color is green, or maybe they look like Jadu from Koi Milia in Hindi film. Or uh, people who do not watch Hindi films, they can relate it to the movie Extraterrestrial. That's an old one. So uh, I would rather go back, uh, go around the universe. And since my lifespan is quite less to cover the whole universe, I think I would be able to just jump on till Mars or maybe Pluto by then if they have a light speed engine with them. <laughs> and I am just coming up with all these things. They are all fictitious as aliens till now have not been discovered, but still believe that they exist. And also it would, uh, since I like exploring new places, uh, even I go to hills and all and I explore caves and all. So I would love trekking over there as well. And since uh, uh, the gravitational force would be lesser, I would rather jump off and just directly reach the top of, top of the mountains and just enjoy the view. That are my views. Over to you, Table Topic Master. Thank you so much, Chaitanya. I felt like I saw a gravity movie in you. Thank you so much. Okay, let's move on to the next table topic speaker. Who wants to pick the next one? Raise your hand. Okay, I see. Uh, Magis, sir, are you raising the hand? Okay, Abigail. Okay, I'll give you this topic to you. Okay, Abigail, here is the topic for you. If one fine day you found that your bank account has been credited with three crores, credited with three crores from an unknown source, what would you do? Would you start using it or would you find, uh, try to find the source? What would you do? Over to you. Okay. So if I'm credited with uh, three crores, yeah. So um, I, I'm i like very honest. So I'll, uh, you know, try to find the source. And if I was someone else, I would use it. <laughs> yeah, I will use it. Um, you can probably donate half of it to some orphanage and uh, half of it uh, to probably to myself. <laughs> yeah, that's how. Um, apart from that, um, what do I creatively use it? I'd probably gift something like a P PS. PSP to my husband <laughs> and uh, um, a curious cup toy to my uh, baby. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what I'll do if I was someone else. That's it. Thank you, Abigail, uh, for those thoughts. I hope uh, soon your bank account uh, will be credited with three crores. Uh, thank you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's move on to the next table topic speaker. I see uh, Lakshmi raising her hand. So, Lakshmi, here is the topic for you. So Lakshmi, what would you do if you found that you could stop time? So now you have a superpower with you. What would you do? Over to you. Ron, please understand this. Whenever we have... Okay. Can I go ahead? Yes, yes, yes. I think um, yes. May I just request to have the timer also pinned because... Yeah, I think I can see the timer. Yeah, you can start, I will pick. Okay. So, uh, I'm sorry, in between all that confusion, uh, Karthik, can I just request you to please repeat that situation once again? Yeah, sure. Uh, sure, Lakshmi, I'll do that. So, what would you do if you found that you could stop time? So, you have a superpower with you now, stopping time. So, what would you do? So, 
stop. I say stop. Tick, 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 tick. Yes. And there I did. I have stopped time. Oops. I stopped time. But now what do I do? What do I do? No, please help me. What do I do? I have no clue. Okay. Hmm. But that's okay. Good, good. The good point is the time has stopped. So I can stop worrying. I don't have to worry about when will I finish my MIS report and send it to my manager. I don't have to worry about by when do I have to make all those entries into the LMS system. I don't have to worry about Oh, my son's exams are coming up next week and I need to prepare him. I don't have to worry about, I have a travel on Monday and I need to pack my bags. And I don't have to worry about what to cook for lunch because time has stopped. Time has stopped. And at this point, what I am going to do is to just take some deep breaths Relax, relax, and relax. And tell myself, Lakshmi, it's okay. It's okay. It is absolutely okay if you are a little delayed with that MIS report. It is absolutely okay if you haven't packed your bag. It is absolutely okay if your son has his exams. Come on, he's not doing his IAS. He's just in grade four, and this is a unit test. So Lakshmi, time is your friend. Make time your friend. Because at the end of the day, it is not about how I manage time. It is not how I manage my stress. It is all about how I manage myself and how beautifully I can handle everything, I everything around me, even with that time running a 100 meters race. Thank you and over to you. Thank you, Lakshmi. I hope you get soon that uh, superpower to stop the time. Oh, all the best. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Lakshmi, for your insights. So now let's move on to the next topic. So I want some uh, new new members who join Gavis to pick this next topic. Is anyone up here? So I have to pick anyone now. Yes, yes, now me. Uh, who who Devashish. is it? Devashish. Okay, Devashish. Okay, fine. Here's the topic for you. So here is an organizational challenge for you. Okay. Now imagine you are hosting a big and enjoying a big party on weekend with your friends and family. And suddenly you receive a call from your office saying that you must work on a critical issue urgently or else your organization will lose a big, big client. Remember, you are the host of party. What would you do? Well, at this moment, when I'm hosting the party, I'm already doing my duty for the company, taking care of the employees, taking care of the prospective customers who are enjoying the party. And at that moment, when my boss calls and asks me to step aside and do the job, I would politely say, you decide what I should take it. I should handle the party or I should handle that job with the prospective client, uh, with the prospective client, we may lose if we don't deliver it. Or we can, I can give a suggestion that maybe you can assign to someone else because I'm already on the job. So rather than keeping that situation on me that what should I do? I'll put the onus on my manager who is calling me in the middle of the party and asking me to step, do other job. So I will enjoy myself in the, in the party because one job at a time, I'll do that as, as best thing rather than spoiling the both things because I will not be able to concentrate. So yeah, I'll enjoy the party and 
next day i'll think about what he is going to say over to you kartik thank you devashish thank you so much i hope you don't get that situation in your life thank you i got okay. it so so you got it <laughs> <laughs> okay okay so our uh, who who uh, so who is ready for the next topic so i want some new people to take up the another topic is anyone here okay triveni prabha sanjay would you try this next topic okay so i don't see any response from them so is anyone up here to take another topic dhwani are you ready to take the next topic no one <laughs> hey uh, karthik uh, jitender has raised the hand so who oh, karthik sorry? you have missed you know 6 feet 3 inches tall person <laughs> <laughs> okay okay but i cannot see your height now sorry <laughs> okay so here uh, jitender so here is a very critical situation for you okay so imagine you are touring a foreign country and your cab driver steals all your belongings and leaves you alone on some deserted highway so now you don't have your passport now you don't have your mobile nothing just you are self on a deserted highway what would you do please help us to know what would you do yeah thanks kardik for this wonderful topic because still there are a lot of memories which i can correlate not in the exact same situation but yeah similar to that uh, when you are uh, in a foreign country where you don't know the language culture and you are in middle of the desert where you hardly see anyone the good part is now the technology has evolved so that you can call your friends and family but then how because you don't remember the numbers so that's another challenge uh, we have in this advancement of uh, technology so what i'll do is of course i'll take a lift where when i was in france i got a lift without even knowing french so of course i can do that again and i'm sure someone will offer me a lift and then try to communicate in a sign language if i don't speak their language and try to uh, you know uh, tell them that how i can get in touch with police so that i can lodge the complaint so that's the first part you should do uh, whenever you are lost in you know uh, unknown land afterwards once you connect to police then you describe what has happened and then maybe try to get in touch with consulate so that will help you to secure your visa and then third thing is your company or you check your bank accounts so those three things are very important uh, when you are in such situation and that will you know uh, of course take you out in, in difficult situation thank you karthik uh thank you so much jitender uh, i hope everyone heard to jitender so if at any time you face the same situation remember the words of jitender thank you jitender okay so now uh, timo do you have any time for the next topic timer or do i have any time to pick the next topic or uh, you, i would i would like to give hand it over back to you you have can time you can you can take one more topic diana has raised her hand and you can pick up one more person okay okay i think uh, i gave her one topic diana uh, so has she has written already okay so can you read so, it out yeah I sure i'll one person chitrakshi uh, she has raised her hand okay chitrakshi fine okay uh, this would be the last topic chitrakshi so here is the topic for you so imagine you have won 30 years of free unlimited services you can pick either a landline telephone service okay or a bakery service nice actors or a newspaper service which service would you choose and why thank you kartik this is the easiest choice for me i am a punjabi with a sweet tooth and i would pick the bakery any day any day and not just 3 years i'm going to i'm, I'm going to start with 3 years but i'm going to convince them with a free lifetime membership there and free service i'm also going to put it on all my uh, social media blogs so that people know about them better but oh my god you have no idea i'm going to host parties and um, the ones that devashish also wanted to host the one that he was hosting i'm going to invite all his guests get everything from this bakery and in turn i'm going to ask him for some other help 
everyone around me, everyone, at least the Gabby's is going to be easily bought because I'm going to get all this bakery and then get it across to every member of the Gabby's. Wow, what a life it will be. I'm telling you, 90% of this country, this country for sure will be my best friend. I will be a leader. They'll be my followers. Maybe sometime later, I can be, become a politician because everyone would want this free bakery supply. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to use this to the best of my advantage and make sure that I get everything I've ever dreamed of. I'm going to buy a house, not with money, but bakery supply. And I'm going to buy it from a Punjabi who has a sweet tooth and who's about 60. So I can also tell them that your family doesn't let you do it because of diabetes. I'm going to make sure I do it for you. You will get whatever you want, whenever you want. So I'm going to like really, really, really take good advantage of this privilege that I have. And oh my God, I want this bakery supply service. Karthik, you've got to do it for me. With that, <laughs> over you. to you, favorite topic. Thank you, Chitrakshi, and congratulations. You have won the bakery service for next 30 years. And please, please uh, make me as a partner in your bakery supply. Even I want to be a uh, uh, big rich and uh, build a new house. Thank you. Okay, so uh, I will read out the Diana speech. Okay, so here is the Diana speech. So Diana has written, so her topic was, what would uh, be, what would she do to delete one invention from history? And so she has written, tenacity, my choice, delete off from history in my story. Tenacity, justify tenacity of my choice. And I, and I know that my choice be justified tenacity. I don't like a delete history, tenacity with my disability, tenacity. So please give a big round of applause to Diana. So Diana, we are really <clears throat> proud of your passion towards speaking. And hope you continue this passion and we are all here to support you. Thank you so much, Diana. Thank you so much. Okay, so this was all about the table topic session. So hope you just remember all the situations and apply the same knowledge you gained it from all speakers. Thank you. Thank you, all speakers. Back to you, Toastmaster of the Day, Jyoti. What a lovely table topic session, uh, TM Karthik. I enjoyed the session and it was so intriguing. Everyone was talking with passion. Especially, I love the last topic, uh, how, the bakery service. So before we move to the next section, uh, I would um, uh, request the Zoom moderator to launch the poll for the speakers. Yeah, I'll give me one second. Uh, meanwhile, evaluators, please be ready with your evaluations. Okay, we can see the poll. Yeah, I have launched the poll, so you can vote. Okay, uh, let's move with the evaluation section. Uh, I would like to call the first evaluator to evaluate the first speaker speech. Evaluator one, three, okay. three, three, Lakshmi. Okay, Tema, can we start? Yes, please. Go then. I'm ready. I'm starting it now. Yes, please. Start now. Okay. Congratulations, my target speaker, Toastmaster Paduka, for delivering a successful speech for understanding your leadership style. The title of the speech, Leader with that No Title. Corrected very well with your speech. And one thing I loved about it, you are coughing throughout, throughout the speech. The, the, I, I loved it, and you never lost enthusiasm. You are keep you tried you you keep on speak, delivering your speech. That is the one thing I appreciate and loved about you. And one thing is you started speech with a great energy, great bang. You started that is the reason where people everyone are interactive throughout the speech of you are answering do you know do you feel he is a leader he is a leader that kind of things you ask good questions with the audience uh, in the beginning even i answered it i loved it the way you interact uh, you started interacting with in great energy in spite of you are not well i loved it and coming to the evaluation i will let you in three seconds success first you are excellent you want to work on to challenge yourself you are very excellent with the great enthusiasm delivering a speech 
good uh, delivering a successful speech, keeping audience intact too. Um, you have a great energy, everything I loved about you. To challenge yourself, Toastmaster Paduka, I felt that understanding your leadership, I felt a little bit you should have uh, told about your leadership style, how you implemented in leadership style. For, uh, it, you, in your leadership, someone had, it, it would have helped someone under your guidance. I felt you should have added a little bit of that. It would have been more impactful. Your speech have been more powerful, more, it had been more strength to your speech. And to challenge yourself, one thing I felt. Oh, I, uh, I, next time, whenever you are giving one recommendation, I have that is don't uh, you, uh, your background was blurred. We couldn't see your hand movements. Next time, please uh, avoid that. That is the one thing. And whatever I recommended you, that is only that thing you can. If you uh, want that uh, recommendation I had given you, you are like leadership style. If you have take that, if you implement in next speech, next time whenever you are delivering it, it, it will have been more impactful. Next, uh, whatever uh, next, and uh, congratulations on it. You delivered this project successfully. Overall, it's a great speech. Over to you. Uh, thank you, TM Sri Lakshmi. Uh, that was a wonderful evaluation. Now let's move to the second uh, evaluator, TM Aparna Raja. Could you please evaluate the speaker to uh, speech? Thank you very much, Toastmaster Jyoti. Toastmaster Nagesh, this was a speech that was supposed to be a discourse on leadership style, but what you ended up doing here today was inspiring us. And I believe that is a core of good leadership, which you have a lot of experience in your entire speech was also inspirational to a lot of us, especially the starting and the ending. And I think the reason for that was you didn't simply talk about your leadership experience in Tutyahan, you instead, told us the human side of leadership. By that, what do I mean? Why should someone be a leader? Not everyone needs to be a leader. Why should I be a leader? But you told us very nicely in the beginning and the end, become a leader so that you're powerful to be heard and you're attracted or you have the charisma to be followed. What a beautiful line that sums up leadership in all, despite all those fancy terms that we use. That was the highlight for me. I was touched and this is the kind of speech that I look for, which dwells on the human side, despite everything technical that goes fabulously done, Toastmaster uh, Nagesh. Um, your pace is something that I admire because that is something I am working on. And you remind me of David Attenborough a lot of times, especially that beautiful rhythm that you bring into your speech. Um, now, let me quickly move on to the recommendations couple of observations mainly because you're an experienced speaker. Uh, I have noticed that every time we error and we will error because we are humans and when we speak errors will happen. It is a point of great, uh, what would I say, great importance because that speech can totally be turned into your um, grasp again. How? Especially in the place where you said 90, uh, 2000 something, uh, no, 90. Instead, you could probably use humor there. Oh, hold on, I'm not that young. I think it was 1993. So whenever we error, I think it's a great opportunity to actually bring in some real special elements into our speech. And uh, this will make sure that the speech character remains. You're in a certain character, that flow remains and we don't lose flow and so on. So this is a technique. Think of the techniques apart from humor. There are many that you can use. That was one thing that I wanted to point out. The next thing is, um, now, as much as your pace is great, I find that the, there is a certain lull because your voice range is about that much. So there is a certain lull, especially in the body of the speech. Excellent content, definitely, that cannot be denied. And how can this be changed? These are very simple technical things. You could ask questions and all of that we say, right? But for you, I particularly think evoking emotion and mental responses will work. Why? because you come up with very strong terms like accidental leader, get out of the trenches. You know, you use these very impactful words. I think evoking emotion will work very well, especially in one place where you said the five times you were uh, not, you know, people came and they kept changing. I wanted to know why did you let someone take advantage of you? At that young age, you don't have the wisdom. So why tell me, you know, I'm that age. So those places, maybe you can dwell on and give us more emotion. Tell us what was running in the head of that person a little bit. And I think you can do that. Probably will be your style. With that, I would like to end. This was an inspirational leadership talk, which touched on the human side and touched our hearts. Just work on handling those errors with beautiful techniques and evoking emotions in our mind. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Nagesh. Thank you, TM Aparna. That was an awesome evaluation. 
Now, uh, let's move with the third speaker, third evaluator, TM Lakshmi Sujata. Uh, could you please evaluate the third speaker's speech? May I request uh, Toastmaster Preeti to be spotlighted open? I, Toastmaster Lakshmi, I'm facing some issue with my camera. Okay, no issues. No issues. I'm sorry for that. Yeah. Yes, that's fine. So let me ask all of you this. How many of you decided to break the silence today by the race of hands? Yes. So that means to say Toastmaster Preeti was impactful in her speech and she was able to successfully complete her speech on this topic of persuasive speech. A big round of applause to Preeti for that. Thank you. Toastmaster Preeti, it is not easy to persuade someone. To persuade someone, there are a lot of criteria that we need to be aware of. And today in your speech, I saw a few of them and at a you know, and and it was very powerful. What were those points that caught my attention? The very first thing was you were able to understand or you gave the opportunity to the audience to uh, you know, speak up their mind. So what were you doing by that? You were ensuring that you and the audience are on the same page. And to persuade someone, it is very important that you understand the vibe of the audience. You understand what are their thoughts. So that was one thing that you were able to do successfully. The second thing that you did today through that little activity where you asked us to close our eyes and imagine someone, you were giving us an experiential, uh, what do you say, experiential experience is what I would say. And that was very, very important because a lot of us, we learn only when we burn our hands. Until we burn our hands, we don't learn. And that's, you know, that's exactly what you gave us today. Through that little activity, you made us experience how and, you know, how it would be for us to go through something like this. And the third and the most important criteria that I saw in your speech today was the fact that you shared your own story with us and how this kind of, you know, speaking to people and asking for help and how people reaching out to you has really helped you in your mental health, uh, in your mental uh, health journey. So this were the three positives or three key highlights for me. One was the experiential learning. The second was coming in con consensus with the audience. And the third was sharing your own story. Now, just let's quickly look at what are the areas of improvement. As much as body language is important, overuse of the body language can also act on the reverse side. So my suggestion here is if we could be a little more aware of how and where we are using our body language. You had body language throughout. You had gestures throughout your speech. But the point that I'm trying to make here is there were some places. For example, uh, you were talking about the light being, uh, you know, the light. So such places, probably it was not required, right? It is about getting that right balance. The second point of improvement would be the, your introduction, the way you started. So you said, so today let's embark on a journey of mental health. I think that statement could have been rephrased slightly to create that impact. However, to conclude and to summarize a very impactful speech and you have uh, met the guidelines of the project and we are all breaking the silence. Thank you. Thank you, PM Lakshmi Sujata. Let's give a round of applause to all the evaluators. Okay, now uh, timer, um, is everyone within the time limit? All the evaluators? Yeah, yes, team. Okay, Zoom Master, could you please uh, launch the poll for the evaluators? Yes, sure. And do it for the table topics also. Yeah. Yeah, so first I'm launching the poll for uh, best evaluator. Okay. Uh, 
uh, I think two more people to go. Okay, so now, now I'm ending the poll. Thank you. Uh, next poll is for uh, table topic speaker. Actually, I, I don't have list for table topic speaker uh, for now. We can uh, launch at the end. Sure. Please take your time. Meanwhile, we'll go with the evaluation section. Uh, sorry, uh, general evaluation section. Uh, I would like uh, to call uh, TM Rajesh uh, to please evaluate the whole meeting. Thank you, Toastmaster Udari, Toastmaster Jyoti. I have a six page notes that I've prepared and with great tenacity, I shall evaluate this meeting in general. But to begin with, let me call upon the four pillars or other three pillars to start off with. Let me call on the R counter for today's meeting to share the R counter report and how we fared in general. So I have noted uh, in each category, the speakers who have given their speech and the person, the person in overall person who ever speaking uh, today in the meeting. Uh, in the interest of time, what I'll do is that I'll present, I'll upload my findings in the chat box so that the respective speakers can look at uh, what kind of filler words or uh, filler sounds they have used it during the speech. What do you generally want with the Thank you, Toastmaster Devishesh. We're looking forward for your chat message so that we can know how we fared. Moving on to the next role player, put your hands together for Toastmaster Pranav, the grammarian for today's meeting. Uh, thank you, Toastmaster Rajesh. Um, I would like to share the screen. Can you enable share screen sharing so that I can share my report? Yeah, I, I have given you the option. Okay. So, uh, the word of the day is tenacity. So, three people have used. So, I would like to congratulate them. Uh, TM Paduka, TM Dina, and TM Rajesh. So uh, they have used it in their respective uh, speeches. And there were, uh, today's speech, I observed that there were a lot of good usages in the meeting. Especially like uh, the meeting began with uh, Nage sir. He has uh, used a lot of uh, proverbs and phrases like opportunities beget leadership. And then we have some phrases, some, uh, some talks by TM Paduka. He has used some quotes by famous uh, people like Oliver Wendell Holmes and uh, then like we have some quotes by Hitler also. So those two quotes were there. So that was well done. And then there were some good usages of words like mammoth task, fandabulous, ecstatic, leader in making. Okay. So then uh, like we have some rhetorical devices which are actually referred to as figures of speech. So we had some good usage of figures of speech like anaphora. Anaphora means there is a repetition of some phrases or parts of words. So for example, throughout the speech of like people like TM Nagesh and Paduka, we had some good usages of anaphora like, uh, and also the TMOD of the day, Jodi. Uh, she had a goal, she knew destination, she knew where to start from. And TM Paduka had said, you cannot blame your job, you cannot blame your family, you cannot blame your circumstances. Like TM Nagesh has used, keep learning, keep applying, keep leading. So then we have another anaphora also, not how I manage time, not how I manage stress, how I manage myself. And then we had some usage of good phrases like, Opportunity beget leadership, which I had already talked, used by TM Nagesh, and learn only when we burn our hands by Toastmaster uh, Lakshmi. Then we have a usage of hyperphora, where there is a question and the person answers, gives the answer to it. So TM Paduka has used, asked, asked, like, is Gandhi a leader? Is Hitler a leader? And she has answered that he was also a leader. And then we have some 
similes like comparing with uh, like barka that so that was the usage of rhetorical devices so i didn't find uh, many incorrect usages but some recommendations are like uh, some people have uh, like some usages was like is are everyone within time was used but actually it is, is everyone within time uh, so during some features also there was use of the words like the like rather than both should be used instead of rather than the both he was wondering how he could be he could make a newbie that should be used not like how he can make a newbie and it should be uh, the usage should be makes me feel grounded so something makes me feel grounded should be used rather than something make me feel grounded because it's a singular word so uh, that's it about my report so thank you toastmaster rajesh over to you thank you toastmaster pranav can we have a huge round of applause for the detail and an exhaustive report that i've seen in quite some time and i really appreciated the way the entire presentation has been segregated uh, toastmaster pranav i would also request you to stop sharing now third but not the last let us put your hands together for our listener for today's meeting toastmaster jitendra jitendra the screen is all yours and so are our ears yeah thank you rajesh uh, i will not share but maybe i'll ask you the questions uh, so i have prepared a few questions just to check whether we are listening uh, or we just hear you know the entire session so are you ready gabbies yeah i can see the smile on people's face uh, that shows that they are very attentive so the first question how many people nagesh has trained and coached in last decade 7500 7500 oh great uh, it seems everyone is you know quite attentive during nagesh speech yeah the second one uh, who is triple crown winner and double path breaker sri lakshmi oh no i think you know it's everyone on it's everyone tips that you know sri lakshmi is quite famous uh, what is the nagesh uh, leadership style everything No, 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 no. It's autocratic. He said sometimes, but he does use a combination of everything. Yeah, I think that's correct. Okay. Uh, moving on to the next question. Uh, what was the title of her Preeti's Jain speech? Breaking silence. Break silence. Break the silence. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, then moving on to the next one. Uh, I think this is quite interesting. So, what was the table topic of Pragya? uh if you have to if someone told you that you can become a celebrity after many years and you didn't have to have salt sugar or social media would you do it or not what would you your take be oh great wow i think everyone else were looking still thinking what was the topic but then i think you, you just nailed it you remember each and every word of it great okay uh, then uh, the last one Uh, let's hope that you know uh, oh, this would be very tough i guess uh, who wanted to be like uh, barkha dat sanjana oh um, it seems rajesh is paying a lot of attention <laughs> yeah that's sanjana that's correct uh, yeah, i think uh, that's it from my end yeah thank you rajesh uh, over to you thank you to master jayendra for quizzing us and testing us on our listening skills folks this is pretty much my team i know jitender is also there but i'll call him once my evaluation is pretty much done all right let me take a deep breath to start off with the meeting started well ahead of time when i joined the meeting the meeting already felt warm exciting people were welcoming i could see a diaspora in general not not as similar as a, another corporate club but i could see people all across the globe fairly inclusive people with disability but it was brilliant meeting started on time the sergeant at arms read out the rules also said that hey these are the ground rules in general at cabbies but this is how we do it and he set the context well now talking about our presiding officer toastmaster nagesh he was inspiring he spoke about the toastmaster's journey how he went through the entire cycle and it was inspiring and for folks who are attending our meeting for the first time it would be in equally inspiring as well toastmaster nagesh i thoroughly enjoyed so this is the one part which i enjoyed and the plus one that i want to give you as an opportunity is to also make announcements if there were any from your club we would look forward to hear 
especially given that coronation just happened a week ago and we would love to hear all the awards that Gabby's won in general. Then to talk about a Toastmaster day, time wouldn't really be sufficient. Toastmaster Jyoti, you thoroughly kept the entire meeting and then the agenda together through your introductions, through your stories about the theme in general. The theme said, hey, it's not all about the goal, but how you start working on the smaller things in life, know where you are. And you shared a personal story about your own journey and how people inspired you or helped you, your own contest journey. And we were connected through your story. Trust me, folks, if you were glued to any of the speakers today, it's all because of these stories. Stories are inspiring. Stories are relevant and we love stories. And that's why we love our grandmas and grandpas. And for all the speakers, this is a small tip. Next time when you take up a speech, take an inspiration, start sharing your stories. So Jyoti, again, one area that I would also give you is there has been an overuse of the word, how is the Josh? Trust me. I no longer respond to that question. And it is specific to a certain section or segment of people who have watched that movie. And given that we have a fairly diverse demography today, not many of them would understand how to respond to how is the Josh. So that's the only takeaway. Moving on to our speakers and evaluators. The evaluators have thoroughly evaluated the speakers, but there are one specific one plus one that I want to offer the speakers as well. Starting with our first speaker, to flip so many pages now. Toastmaster Paduka Kanan. If I have to really pick one item, the energy that you had in your speech was contagious. I was hooked on to it. I was looking forward to make notes of all the vocal variety, excitement, the energy levels that a good speaker should have. And I found all of them in it. And the plus one in terms of opportunity is, you said be the absolute best at your work and you gave an example of a speaker. Now I was thinking, what is that one motivation for the speaker to do his absolute best when compared to the rest? If you were able to give us the answer, how to be our absolute best by motivating ourselves, that would have been a killer to your speech. And probably this is one aspect in terms of the evaluator also who gave you as an area of improvement. Hey, give us a personal story. If you were able to bring that personal story where you were your absolute best, you never know, you've achieved your specific purpose. Our second speaker was evaluated by a district champion, but I'll do this. I'll be tenacious enough to take it on again. Toastmaster Nagesh gave us many stories. And that's one reason I say stories sell well. And the best part about him was through his stories, he gave away details about how he was, how his experiences were, and how he learned several aspects of leadership and how he found himself. And for me, that's another takeaway that, hey, through stories, I can let audience how I was or who I was or how I transformed myself. And that's my learning from you. And in terms of, again, one opportunity, again, uh, Toastmaster Nagesh, the specific purpose where if I were to summarize what did I learn from Toastmaster Nagesh's speech content, I was still searching for it. How do I also take away your learnings into my life and implement it? So that's what I felt I was looking for. Toastmaster Aparna. Okay, I'll probably finish off the speakers and come to the evaluators. So speaker for today was Toastmaster Preeti Jain. A very conversational style. And firstly, thank you for standing up and delivering your speech. Out of the, all the speakers today, you were the only speaker who stood up and spoke. And I thank you for that. And you did break the silence by giving us insights on how mental health is something that's kept under the carpet is an important aspect that we need to focus on and sharing is what will help you. Again, a question I ask you, how do I share? For someone who's an introvert, who's not open to share, who's scared, doesn't know if there is a safe space, how do I go out? Where do I go out and share my stories? So this is an answer that I would look forward to hear. So this is the speaker's evaluation. Let me try and attempt the evaluator's evaluation. Our first evaluator was Toastmaster Sri Lakshmi. Toastmaster Sri Lakshmi, there's a sense of excitement in you before even the timer started. Timer, are you ready? I loved it, though it would be not something that people would be okay, but I thoroughly enjoyed the excitement. We're ready to go there, share your evaluation. You did show up a certain empathy. You mentioned about speaker coughing and you took it as a positive. Hey, even though your health wasn't great, you still went ahead with the speech. That didn't deter you from stopping your speech or restarting your speech. So that's something 
very well observed and shared across with all of us. You mentioned about the delivery aspect of our speaker as well and how interactive and how the energy was always high, which I think we all can understand. You also put out an important aspect of sharing a personal story. And this is something I would try, try to appreciate you for conveying that, hey, a personal story brings in a credibility. Show us how it is done and we would follow you or try, try it out ourselves. So that's something I loved. One opportunity for you again is every evaluation. I say the same thing for all the evaluators. Please, please, please summarize. And Aparna will tell you a very strong reason why summary is important at a contest especially. It carries 10 points and you wouldn't want to lose them. Now, Toastmaster Aparna, again, very similar to the first speaker, you were again going above and beyond the objectives and observing what the speaker's existing speaking skills were. Now, this is something as an icebreaker evaluator, I always do is observe, find out what speaking skills the speaker had. And this is something I felt was something inspiring where you said, hey, you showed us an human side of yourself. And through this, this is also one of the key leadership aspect. I love the way you kind of surgically went deep went deeper than the objectives and found out that, hey, human side can also be a part of leadership skill. And I don't think even Toastmaster Nagesh was aware of it. And that was brilliantly observed. In terms of recommendation, this is more of a challenge and not an opportunity, Aparna. How about looking beyond the ob obvious also in the areas of recommendation? You went in terms of the observations or areas of good things of the speech, you went beyond the obvious. How about doing the same in areas of recommendation? Again, I have no clue how, but a challenge for you. The third evaluator we had was Toastmaster Sujata. Very similar to the speaker, you were, you were very calm in terms of your delivery. You said that, hey, it's not easy to persuade, but toast our speaker did persuade and you gave out the reasons in terms of three reasons. The interesting observation I have from your evaluation is you summarized your good observations after pointing it out one, two, three, and here is a summary. I have never seen someone do that. And I'll give it a try in my next evaluation also. And the recommendations you mentioned about overuse of body language, I'll see it as a subjective thought and I'll still respect your opinion on that. Again, I would love to see if you were able to summarize the entire evaluation at the end as well. A common tip for all the evaluators, every speech has a general purpose and a specific purpose. The question that you ask is, what is it that the speaker has made me ask me to do or made me to think? If you have an answer for this, this means that the speaker has a specific purpose or has the speaker shown you how to do it. This means the specific purpose has been achieved and try to focus on that as well and look beyond the obvious in the recommendations. Now with this, I quickly move on to the table topic master. It was creative Toastmaster Karthik. I think this, the, the, though the topics were pretty long, but the creative side takes off. And I think all the speakers today have to be appreciated for being a sport and answering all these questions creatively. Be it the money, be it the time, be it stopping time or having a, Bakery service for 30 years, all the speakers shared their thoughts without hesitation. And I would give a round of applause for all of them. One opportunity for you, Toastmaster Karthik, is let people know why table topics or why impromptu speaking is an essential skill and give them a small tip on how to go about it. Be it a simple personal story or an Oreo where you talk about opinion, reasons, and then restating the opinion. I'm sorry, I'm not sure about the audio technique, but it's pretty much saying what you feel about it, giving reasons, examples, and then restating the opinion. So with this, the last segment was our tag team. For all the tag team role players, you excelled at telling what your role is and how you would be doing your role and sharing your reports. Absolutely spot on. This is very difficult. And trust me with the plethora of great speakers, evaluators, and table topic speakers, it is a difficult task and you did it well. A common tip for all four role players. It is important to let people know why you're important. Why do I need an R counter? Why do I need a timer? Why do I need a grammarian? Or why a listener is important? Let people know what impact you create. I can talk for on and on, but if there is no timer, I wouldn't know when to stop. We, especially we Indians, we love to speak, but we don't know when to stop. So the timer would make sure when to stop. The R counter is pretty much the lyricist. When I forget the lyrics, I would fill it up with unwanted objects and the R counter would make sure that I speak the right language. So similarly, come up with creative methods to showcase who you are and why you make an impact in the meeting today. Overall, I had a great time in this meeting, a meeting that's different from the regular flow. I would also appreciate that the pre-meeting 
review that was done. So before I joined the meeting, I was given an overview of how the meeting agenda would be, how different it is from a regular meeting. And I was well prepared for the meeting with all the introductions. And I would also appreciate Toastmaster Jyoti for using very personalized introductions about each and every role player. And that feels so connected. Hey, I feel like it feels like home. I belong here. These are a bunch of warm people over here. I look forward to attend this meeting again in the future. And I hand the session back to our Toastmaster, the Toastmaster Jyoti. Thank you for in-detail evaluation, General, evalu General Evaluator Rajesh. Uh, so with this, um, my last point, uh, we may be very busy. Uh, I'm talking about the theme. So we may be very busy. We may be very efficient. But we will also be truly effective only when we begin with the end in mind. So I, uh, I will leave you all with this message. And now I will hand over the stage to uh, P.O. Nagesh, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, TMOD, for a wonderful job done. What does the TMOD deserve? Coming on the camera and giving her a big round of applause, isn't it? Thank you so much, Toastmaster Jyoti Mandal, for uh, taking this meeting through from start till now. Uh, can I request the Zoom moderator to launch the polls? Yeah, so I'm going to launch poll for auxiliary role taker. So quickly vote those masters, your vote matters. It gives encouragements. Yeah, I'm ending the poll. Uh, now the next poll is for uh, base table topic speaker. This is taking some time for people to vote because a table topic master has made it so difficult for everyone to select the right one. One more people. One more vote to go, and yeah. there you are. Yeah, thank you so much. We are done with this one. I think uh, we have next poll for uh, a best role taker. So I'm going to launch that. I've done. I'm going to close this and uh, I think we are do done with the polling. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now it's time to uh, hear out something which is very pleasing to the ears and uh, it will be very pleasing to the eyes also in the days to come. In about 27 days or so, we are going to have a hybrid meeting, a very special meeting. So listen to this announcement very, very carefully. On 1st of July, we are going to have a special meeting, which is going to be hybrid. So those of you who are looking forward to meet, greet, shake hands and have hugs with your Toastmaster club members, Start putting this meeting in your calendar. On 1st of July, this is going to happen hybrid. Yes, hybrid. So this wait for more announcement and details about this particular meeting. And uh, now it's time for announcing the poll results. Here we go. So we start with the best Auxiliary role taker. Any guesses? The wildest and the best guest will get a prize. Toastmaster Nagesh. Ah, oh, you're so very wrong. Auxiliary role taker prize goes to our grammarian Toastmaster Pranav. 
Thank you, Pranav, for taking up the role. Now goes the best table topic speaker. The best table topic speaker. So many clothes. Oh my God. I never expected this. Toastmaster Chitrakshi. Now, the best role taker. Best role taker. Any guesses? No prizes for this one. Come on, you can still guess. Anybody? Anu. The GE. Oh, I should have announced a prize for that, Toastmaster Aparna. It's GE. It GE indeed. Thank you, Rajesh, for coming over and giving those valuable insights of what went well and what we could, small things, make it better. Thank you so much. Now, who else? Best evaluator? Yes, a special prize if you guess the right one. And I'm sure no one will get the prize. Aparna. That's me. Aparna. Aparna. Who is that Aparna. one person who has got the highest vote? Guess. Nobody Aparna. is going to get this prize. Aparna. Aparna. Or is it a tie? <laughs> it's a tie between Aparna and Lakshmi. Give both of them a big round of applause. Now, I think we have only one left. Best speaker. Don't strain your minds. The best speaker goes to Toastmaster Preeti. Huge round of applause. Thank you, Preeti. Thank you so much for giving us that speech on mental health. With that, any last moment thoughts? Any guest here on the house? No, I don't think there is anybody as guest. Anybody wants to share a feedback in next 30 seconds? Those who have not come on the stage. Sanjay, Prabha, any of you want to stay, share something within 30 seconds about this meeting? Anyone else wants to take this chance? 30 seconds. Yes, Diana, you can put it on the chat. I'll read it for you. Thank you so much for raising your hand. Yes, Chitrakshi. 30 seconds starts now. First of all, uh, I knew the bakery would buy everyone. I told you, right? And they are, they are the result. The bakery did buy everyone. And I got the uh, vote. Also, uh, Toastmaster Nagesh, I just realized we are very much on time today. I just wanted to put it out there. We are very much on time today. I think this is the first time I've seen us finish very close to time. So that's my 30 seconds over to you. Thank you. Now, uh, I have Jyoti Mandal spotlighted. Jyoti, you have something to say? No, nice, sir. Okay. Anyone else? Aparna? And, and no, sir, I think uh, Toastmaster Diana has her hands raised. Yes, Diana, I'm, uh, is there something on the chat from you? Thank you all for the request. It was very good tenacity as I feel like tenacity. I felt happy inside. Thank you so much, Diana. We look forward to you in every meeting and uh, participate in this meeting. The meetings that we have it at Gabby's, you're most welcome. Love you to have you here. We still have time. Anybody else? Abigail, you have anything to share? It's not a table topic. Speak your mind. No topics. You are mute. She's on mute. I think she's going, getting into a safe place uh, before she speaks. 
Chitakshi raised uh, raise hand again. No, okay. Lakshmi, anything? I like to so uh, I took uh, TMOD role for the first time in Gabby's and I was thinking, how will I how will I host this session? Uh, this is I, I see the great quality in uh, this meeting. So thanks to Chitrakshi for calling me yesterday and briefing uh, the complete meeting, how it will go. And I would like to thank Nancy and Chaitanya. Thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you. Thank you. We are a team together, putting everything across as a meeting. Thank you, Jodi, for sharing what you felt. Yes, Toastmaster Lakshmi. One thing that I would really want to appreciate everybody here, every role taker and every member here, is that it is 11.50, it is just 11.50 and the meeting is almost done. And that's a true achievement to the Gabbies and very well done, all of us. And another one is our general evaluator, Toastmaster Rajesh. Rajesh, the kind of insights that you have given us today is impeccable, I must say. Because, um, we have witnessed a lot of general evaluations, but yours was a perfect balance of both and a very different perspective on a lot of points. Thank you for sharing these with us. Thank you. Uh, Thank learning you. is mutual. Um, yes, so, um, uh, Arigal is ready. Go ahead. Yeah, so uh, uh, I had this technical issue again. <laughs> so I have to like switch. Mm, so the light went off and on. So uh, yeah. So I really love the session today and I have a lot of takeaways from everybody, Tosmas and Nagesh, and uh, especially a lot from general evaluator Rajesh. Uh, it was really insightful, the kind of uh, inputs you gave. I'll start looking up in Google, like whatever you were saying, <laughs> because uh, it was really insightful in, you know, sort of making the speech better, like certain elements you were really expressing it about. Um, yeah, so, and everyone, like, uh, thank you so much for today's uh, really insightful session. Thank you so much, Abigail, for your thoughts. And uh, we have still time to close. However, I don't yeah. want to fall short in announcing two other things which I'm reminded of. One is, uh, I, I understand uh, what Rajesh mentioned that I should have mentioned this in the my PO address itself about the accolades that Gabby's have won. But I wanted to keep it in the last, but I was reminded of it a few minutes ago. Also, two things where the drum roll should go, that uh, we won two large awards as far as Gabby's is concerned. The first one is related to PR, the Promote Award that the Gabbies have won for all the work that entire Gabbyites have done. Please give a huge round of applause for what we got last year. This is not the end. This is just the beginning. We have the end in mind. I never think that there can be any end to this uh, promotions. Beyond PR Awards, we had the super club in District 92. Huge round of applause for all of us that we all contributed to become one of the super clubs in District 92. We still have a month, 28 days, and we are still doing wonders full work uh, as Gabbyites, isn't it? So big shout out for everybody who contributed to what we are today. With that, uh, any last thought? I still have two minutes. I don't know how to fill that in. However, if you all are okay, we'll close the meeting here. Then continue our chit chat as usual because Gabbyites don't stop talking. With this, I close this meeting. Uh, thank you so much for joining us and uh, see you all on Next Tuesday. Tuesday. We're oh, having Tuesday. a special meeting, right? So it's not next Saturday, it's next Tuesday. Thank you, everybody. Have a great weekend, and uh, we'll see you on Tuesday.
thank you thank you all, thank you all. Thank bye, you. bye. 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 I want to bye. mention one if you guys are staying back um so at the coronation last week uh, i have i hadn't met a lot of people i was meeting them for the first time they didn't know any of us but the minute i said the gabbies so many people knew us and i was so proud i said where, where are you from they would ask i said the gabbies oh the gabbies so many and i can't i'll tell you easily 50 to 60 people said that wow. so proud so proud so proud <laughs> okay i have to share something which i heard yesterday for that let me stop the recording can, I, <laughs> can somebody stop the recording i was uh, on a promotion uh, in a club yesterday 